Hi, hello, good day, welcome back. And so last time we left off talking about um, HTML. So this is HTML basic part three. So the third vi video in the basic section. And so what we looked at the last time was how to write a well-structured or well-formed HTML document. And what we said was HTML document must have a one tag that is the root tag, and that's this HTML tag here. And then nested within that is um, our two children tag or two child tag uh, uh, head and body, right? And then, of course, head, we said that though you can have title, and we show it though if you change the title, it appears here. And we said body affects everything here. Now, one of the things you might want to know is how do I know which tags are supported, what's a valid tag? Like, obviously, if I go in here and I type, um, you know, oh, well, so my plugin is helping me see all the tags that are valid, right? But if I didn't know that, or if I didn't have this plugin, how do I know which tags are, are valid? So like I could type, you know, shape, for example, or S, or shape. And how do I know if, what the effect of that is going to be? Like, you know, I'm typing something in it. But if that, the, the HTML is very forgiving. It looks at this and says, oh, I don't know what shape is, and so I'll just ignore it. There's no shape tag that I know of. And so it ignores and basically just rendered whatever thing is inside, right? So you can certainly type invalid tags, and so hence why you want your editor to have some kind of tag completion that mine did just now, so it could show me, you know, as I start typing what's a valid tag. So as soon as I type S, you know, it says, hey, that's not a valid tag, you know, um, and these are the valid S tag, and if I type SH, so things like that, right? Yeah, I could bring it back up by typing. So if I type angle bracket SH and it went away, I can back up, and then now I know there's some valid S tag. So how do I get it back to the list? I type control space bar and then that brings up back to the list and then I could go from there so there's a script tag and blah 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 and section tag and so on all right so um no we know but uh we can see some of the valid tags if you have the beautify um if you have the html plugin so remember we look at plugin and then you're going to see way too many plugins in mind but some of the ones you want to install I told you last time was beautify um HTML template and more HTML5 code hints. Those three would probably do you well. And then if you want to get one and so on. Um, and the way you do it is by clicking on available tags, type those names I just showed, beautify, blah, blah, blah. And it would come up and then you just click hit install button. And that's, that's, that's basically it. But here's where you get help online. You go to www.w3school.com, schools.com. And it say, hey, do you want to learn about HTML, JavaScript, or C CSS, or JavaScript? And you want to, you can certainly click on learn, but let's, and notice what's going on here. As I put my mouse over these buttons, these links, see how they're fading and so on. They highlight the different type of backgrounds. We're going to learn how to do all that sort of thing. But HTML reference, and then these are all the tags, okay? And there's a slight exception to what I told you guys before about the document only have one <laughs> root tag, but for the most part, just think of it that way. Um, and so here's the A tag for hyperlinks and abbreviate tag and a whole bunch of other ones, right? And then they tell you tags that are no longer used, that have been depreciated or something, or not using HTML5, new tags that have been introduced in HTML5, which is a few years old the B tag that we talk about and so on, right? So you can scroll along and look at all these tags here. So it's a good place to, um, to reference for reference in tag. And let's just click on one that we've covered before, the B tag, for example. If you click on that, it gives you examples. So it says this is normal text and this is bold text, right? And so I'll copy that and just paste that over our, our text, just take over our entire thing. And then if I look here, you'll see this is normal text and this, this is bold text. to show you how it can nest, just like we, we spoke about, right? Uh, we talked about it in the previous video. And then it tells you which browser is supported in and gives you some information about how you can style it also in CSS, which we have not covered yet. It tells you the events attribute, which we have not covered, and global attributes, which we have not covered. But we have talked about attributes and the 
AD attribute and these are some of the attributes and here's the ID attribute specify a unique ID for an element right and so we talk about that too the idea of you know tags have names you know blah blah and then when you write them this way you can refer to them as an element okay so you use them interchangeably and so there's a tag you know the B tag but then when you write it you can write it you can say oh I can, I'm referring to the element the B element and each element can have an ID right and so there's some other attributes that it supports um, and we're going to learn some of them. We'll certainly learn the class one and maybe a few others. Okay, so every single tag supports the ID one and then pretty much all of them supports the, the class one. But, uh, we'll get back to all that. So I just wanted to show you where you can get information, reference, so look up tags if you want to play around a bit more with some of these tags. All right, so let's continue and now that i show you where you can get information let's continue now by using a few more tags so we saw the p1 the b1 i underline and the break one and the horizontal rule and there's another one there are a few more the header tags and so this h1 through like h5 five or oh, h6 right and so there they are and so h1 tag and then we can say header one for example and then we can do h2 h2 i'm gonna type able to type all that stuff out and then h3 and then h3 tag and you could see what it's doing you know it's giving me a header and predefined size essentially and you could guess that the higher the number you go um the smaller the header is getting um, as you can see h5 right and there are other ways which you, where you can there's a, there are a number of other ways you can get the same effect which is smaller text or bold text or whatever and by using the font tag so that's sort of another way of getting the same result uh even though you, <laughs> uh it's seven you know they don't have it it's seven to find but you know if i typed it doesn't mean that all the text wouldn't show up because i told you if you type a tag that doesn't exist it just render the contents inside of it uh, 87 should really normally be much smaller than 86 if there was an 87 because there isn't such a tag you know uh, it's you know just render the text inside all right so those are the editor tags and so you can certainly use them to um, think text um, what are tags are there they're, they're quite a, a number of them as we saw from from over here right um, some of the ones I'd like to show you um, have to do with um, you know presentation of, of text and so we're going so the other one um, I want to show you is how you can make lists right so let's say I have a um, some food I want to list out so I'm say um, I don't know favorite foods I don't know favorite foods and I want to list them out and I basically what I want to see is you know like a bullet of something and you know p i z z a pizza um okay and i'm mixing up food here now um, i'm mixing up cuisine and food chinese um if i could only spell um indian whatever All right and so i want to see something like this instead of number i want to see bullet and so let's go over here and see what this look like so that's what it looked like there but what I really want to see it look like is, you know, I want to break here. So put that there. And I want it to be in a list. So there's something for listing. And I don't have to put that there. I can do this. And I say, I want a, an ordered list. So it's not an ordered list. And a list item. And now I could say P-A-Z-Z-A, pizza, right? And here's another list item, I said Chinese. And here's another list item, and I can say Indian. Right. And so notice now how just by using this tag and nesting it with the list item, the unordered list, and listen it within this item, I get exactly one, a bolted list, right? But I can also do, let's do another break here. And I'm gonna copy and paste this. And let's do an ordered list. And so this might be, so order list, you use O, O-L for ordered list. 
and then now I go from having a bolted list to you know a numbered list and but the list still contain list items so the same list item the only thing that changed was this ol you know ul that's the only difference right and so now you've learned um, a few more new tags header tag and the or on ordered list and ordered list and the list item that is nest inside of those guys uh, all right um so that does it for this video uh, we've covered the header tags and uh, the list tags you know on ordered list and order list and we look at the sub tag or child tag for the list tags which is you know uh, is the list item tag okay and so in future video we'll continue um, looking at some other tags like the hyperlink tag image tag and then table tag um, the diff tag span tag and then when when we do get into advance, we can look at the form tags, okay? Um, how to create form, um, web forms, and input and checkbox and buttons and those sort of things. So quite a bit more um, tags to cover before we finish with HTML and get onto like CSS or something. And, and we're not gonna quite get out to all oh, this is, you know, HTML, we do CSS too, but anyway, I'm covering those several things. But if you're curious about some of these tags, you can certainly jump in, jump over here and look at them. You don't need to memorize them or know all of them. I don't know all of them. I just know where to find them when I want them. Or if I look, think there's a tag should exist, I go look for it. All right, so we're gonna certainly cover how to use quite a number of them. And um, all right, thank you. And I'll try and cut this video off here and give you back your time so you can go play or do whatever you have to do. Thanks for your time again. See you in the next video. Bye.